So in summary, it is important to understand the characteristics of the social community, how networks are structured, what is an online community, a group of people who come together for special interests or purposes, who are guided by community policies and which are supported online by virtual communication. We have seen what is a social network. It's a set of social relevant nodes. Nodes are, as we have seen, the actors. It could be people, it could be brands or any other thing within the net. And a social network is also characterized by the relationships we have, by close relationships of social bonding capital and social bridging capital, which is the large number of direct or indirect connections we have. It is important to identify influencers and take another example. Uh, for example, you have a lot of tourism in Thailand. Uh, you have a lot of nice resorts near to the beach uh, in Krabi or in Phuket, Bupiki. You have all the nice re resorts try to get brand awareness and desire by inviting influencers in the resorts, taking photos, uh, uh, turning videos, YouTube videos, and uh, posting that on the different videos. These influencers have generally high cloud scores, uh, close to 100. And a lot of people are looking at that, and then the results can spread very quickly through the influencers important information, messages, in order to create brand awareness and in order to get known very quickly worldwide, in order to attract people. That's why it's important within the social media yeah, to find these influencers because they're highly important to spread information. And we have seen less or more close relationships. Close relationships is called social bonding capital, and loose relationships are called social bridging capital.